get started. Uh, my name is Mikhail Khudnev. I'm working for Grid Dynamics. And I want to tell you about the typical use case in e-commerce sites. It's about navigation, uh, fastest navigation, and it's about product catalogs like. So nothing about uh, linguistic, text search, and so on. Uh, here's my sample search form. Uh, here we have uh, several attributes to filter by, and let's try to find something uh, red and small. Choose these checkboxes and click search. Come on, click search. Okay, here's the search result form. Uh, you can see that I'm able to form uh, proper filter queries for solar. You see it, it's FQ. And the top document looks like what we actually need. It has a red color and blue and two sizes, small and large. Let's look into it and the problem arises. Uh, this document has several items but there is no item which we are looking for. There is only a large red item and small blue. There is no small red. Well, what's going on, actually? Uh, this issue often reported as false positive match on multi-value fields. And uh, we, we need to solve it. And I checked the entity relationship modeling, and it's well known there. It's called a uh, fan trap. Okay, looks something like this. Uh, fan trap, it's when you have one entity and uh, be, which has several one to many relationships to side entities. But these side entities don't relate to each other. <coughs> so it's called fan trap. You can't retrieve them properly. Okay, uh, you can fi fix it by introducing proper relationships between your entities. After you do, do it, you, you, you can properly ret retrieve them. You can filter by si size and color. Okay, try to fix it by using field masking span queries. Here, uh, how, how the usual document with multi-value fields look, looks like. You see, your multi-value fields just set of terms. There's not any information about items which uh, these documents consist. So we, we, we can use term positions in Lucene to, to put every term into the proper position, whereas every position corresponds to your item. And uh, we, we can call it sub-documents. And after we've done it, we, we can retrieve properly by using spam queries. Uh, sorry for green color. Uh, so we, we have two components span query, and the first span query matched to that position, and the second span query matched to this position. And then we can test this position for overlap. And by the te te test, we can solve false positive match problem. So after that, by using term positions and span queries, we can uh, solve problem with retrieval. And the second item is faceted navigation. Have you heard about it? Facets. So our search result has faceted counts, these small numbers and braces. Uh, it's, uh, everybody knows how to count facets, but when you have sub-documents model, there is uh, several tricky aspects. First of all, to count facets for subdocuments, you need to know matched uh, positions. So you count facets not against doc set. You need to have also matched position set. And after that, you need second uh, stage. It, it's a retrieve term values by these positions. To do that, you need a uh, forward view of data. Forward view of data is something like field cache or uninverted field. Uh, so so uh, you look up in, in the view and re re receive list of terms. After that, you need to apply aggregate operation to the list of terms and produce heat set per document. And it, it, it's a set because every document hit, uh, hits every term only once. 
So, and we also have more complicated examples of aggregate operations. For example, when, when we need to sort by the maximum price from the matched items. So we, we, we need maximum, minimum operation, first, last, maybe count operation, and, and so on. And I'm working for one of the leading sites in e-commerce in US retail. And in the next year, I'm going to deliver uh, this complicated model, which has several levels of relationship, which has parallel relationships. So I need to deal with it. And I want to emphasize that sub-documents is quite important and quite often thing in e-commerce. You need sub-documents to model opening hours, to discounts, sales events, number of items available per store, and so on and so on. So it's really must-have feature. Uh, that's all. Uh, my point is uh, we need to search sub-documents. We need to count facets for sub-documents. And to do that right, we need to have entity relationship modeling. Uh, I, I, I hope we will have it in Thor in some future time. Uh, that's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you.